want you to meet a very special friend of mine. Come on in. My name is Miss Ashley, and today I'm going to teach you how to make zebras out of paper plates. In order to make the zebra, you're going to need some materials. First, you're going to need one paper plate. Next, you're going to need six triangles. And then for the ears, you're going to need two white pieces and two black pieces. For the nose, you'll need one big circle and then three little white pieces. And then we're going to use wiggly eyes. And of course, you'll need two. To start, you're going to take one of the black triangles and place it on. First, you're going to need glue. Put the glue on. And press it down. Why don't you hold it for a couple seconds so it'll be good. After you put the last piece on, it should look like this. Next, we're going to move on to the nose. You get your big black piece. You put your glue on. And you glue it down. But don't forget, the big black piece isn't the only part of the nose. The little white pieces are there too. Put that one on. And grab your next little piece. Not a lot of glue, just a little bit. Just enough to hold it. And you're going to get this one and put it on there too and that's what your nose should look like next we're going to move on to the ears before we put them on a plate we have to put them together so when you get this you get the little black piece and you glue it onto the big white piece. And you do that for the other one as well. And after that's done, you put glue on the bottom of the ear. And you put it behind the paper plate. You might have to hold it for a minute so it can dry. So it'll stick. And do the same thing with the other one. And make sure it's behind the plate, not in front. The last thing we have to do is put the eyes on. Once again, it doesn't take very much glue, just a little bit. And place it on and do the same thing with the other one. And once you're done with that, you have a zebra. These zebras are fun and easy to make, but don't forget your name on the back so you know which one is yours. When you write your name, write it where the nose is so you can't see it through the paper. Now that we're all done, we can put our zebra on the bulletin board for everyone to see.
know how to make your own, go back to your desk and your teacher will have your materials ready for you.